The city of Bradenton contemplates bringing red light camera systems back to stoplights. SNN's Jennifer Vagelis has that story. We don't fight for public safety and doing things to improve safety, then what are we doing? A decision every driver has to make approaching a yellow light. Slow down or speed up? Would a red light camera system at stoplights alter their decision? A question Bradenton officials decided to answer themselves. Initially, when the cameras were first installed in 2009, the camera's vendor tracked the cameras, stating that there were seven intersections in the city that were problematic. After conducting some research, Bradenton Police Department took over that role, narrowing it down to five intersections, one of them being Manatee Avenue and First Street. Nearly a year and a half ago, the city's contract with the vendor expired, removing all cameras. Wednesday, council members and Bradenton Police Department discussed bringing them back. It's actually safer for a rear end accident than a T-bone accident. With citation fees mostly going to the state and the vendor, the city isn't making a profit. They told us it would be about $1,200 a month that if everything was the same as what it was before, we would have to pay out of pocket about $1,200 a month. Do that times 12, around $14,000. Is public safety worth $14,000 a year? Councilman Bemis Smith says the system is useless. They haven't been proven, at least in the data that I've seen, to save lives. They actually increase accidents. Both council members agree if the motion passes, it should be executed differently pocket change compared to the value of a life. In Bradenton, Jennifer Vagelis, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.